guess I got some explaining to do, huh? <laughs> it is 30 down to 35 last night. So we're doing a motorcycle adventure. We're doing 900 miles of dirt roads and uh, and back roads. It took us about four hours to get here on um, on highway. We got a we got us something to eat. Uh, we were on dirt for a little while. It was getting dark, so we were trying to find us a, a home, and uh, got in late. We found this place is not the, well, I say it's not the most ideal place. It's not really a marked campsite, but we had 20 minutes till this, it was going to be pitch black here. So we found this place where the bikes are pretty soft. I don't know if that was a, a place where there's a salt lick right over there. So there's turkey everywhere. This morning we are that uh, turkey sound. I'm not, not sure if that's the right sound for him, but uh yeah, this is probably going to take us about five or six days. I've never done anything like this. So I got John with me with um, Moto Adventure. Um, I'll post it right here and in the description if you want to see his version of this. But um, I figured I'd title this series Motorcycle Camping Vlog. So this is Motorcycle Clamping Vlog Part 1. Let's ride. I could stay here forever, man. This place is freaking beautiful. We're in, just in the deep of the woods here in turkeys the water i gotta get packed up we got 140 miles today um the whole trip is 900 so we're trying to divide it up and we got rain on friday so our plans is to to get uh to certain destinations so today's 140 miles um i slept super warm and uh the integrated um quilt it's actually sewn into the quilt. It was all 20 degree. I slept super warm. That's from Dutchwear.com. Thanks Dutch and Fee. Those were super comfortable, but I gotta get packed up. It's hard to leave a, a beautiful campsite. Even got water on this side too. Um, so it's like goes around us. We're like on a little peninsula. But uh, all right, let's get packed up and uh, let's get in the woods. separates your uh, tarp so it gives you a ton of room underneath there but keeps you dry versus something that's really flat or up against your tent. So really cool. You can get these at Dutchway. This hammock is you can just leave all your gear in there your pillows um, your quilt everything and just pack it in when you're done pack it back out you leave make sure you don't, you're not leaving anything and John had a great spot right here right next to the water all right I think we're ready to go 140 miles today I think we're gonna take about five hours to do that about 40 45 miles per hour got a couple of river crossings this is gonna be crazy motorcycle camping vlog starting now all right this is, I don't know if you can see this, but this yield is crazy. There we go. Come on, come on. What's he in for? That yield is crazy. Alright, got up with John. John, what's up, buddy? How we doing, man? 
What's your YouTube channel? Moto Off-Road Adventures. Moto Off-Road Adventures. So if you want to see this side of his version, go check out his channel. I think this is going to be uh, a series because we got about, what, five or six days, huh? Oh, yeah, it looks crazy. Um, all right, guys. Well, we got, we're set up on, yeah, we're set up with Rever. Um, they are nice. Thank you, bud. Had to go in airplane mode. Let's ride it. Okay, let's go. I know we're on this for a while. All right, let's just ride. See if it'll catch itself. Ah, oh, man. This is crazy. Ooh, got some heels. I'm wondering if it's the Bluetooth between these. We're trying to get our mics to work so we can communicate. This is too dangerous not to be talking to each other. But are we good now? Is it clear? Nice. All right, so let's ride. Okay. There we go. We got 900 miles of craziness here. And this, uh, I'm riding a uh, BMW F850 GSA from BMW of Charlotte. And uh, golly, this is so insane fun. I need to put some goggles on or something because it's... Uh, I don't want to get anything in my eyeballs. Hey, there's an awesome campsite. Dang. I think we had the better one, to be honest with you. Ah, oh, man. Are you, um, you're, are you, is your ABS on or off? You got it. Okay, cool. Yeah, mine is too. Yeah, I'm riding in second gear this whole time. I'm like tractor in this thing. Ooh, this is... Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it is. Oof. That was tough. The F is uh, for it ain't playing no games. <laughs> well, we got your nemesis down here. We're going downhill with some chunkiness. Stay to your left. In my opinion... And then come across right. You'll see the line. It's just chunky. Wow. I can't record this whole thing, but it's crazy. No, no, no. All right. Trying to find a line. It's probably just with the road that people have already ridden. Oh, no, no, no. Don't go in it. <laughs> it's deep, big guy. I'm still figuring life out. I wish I could back up, but I'm I'm in it now. This is uh oh. uh stay over here. Um and it's okay to go slow. This is not a I thought it was more scary than it is, but I've just never done this before. Right there. That's the best line. Go in confidence. Yeah, you got it. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Boom. You nailed it. Good job, buddy. Good job. <laughs> yep. Moving on. All right. I think we got a hard turn up here somewhere. Looks like they can close this off. There's tons of campsites. I think ours, hands down, was the best. All, All right, guys. guys. Freaking beautiful log home in the middle of freaking nowhere. That is insane. That is like the perfect place. I love that. Yeah. There's all these different roads. It's a little spooky. You don't know which way you're going. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Going downhill. Regular dirt. I guess these are chicken houses. I ain't sure what this is. Middle freaking nowhere. Little tiny house on stilts. Ford Ranger. And we're on tarmac. 
Nice. Ah, oh, wow. is crazy. People fishing. I guess trout. Hey, buddy. There's a car coming, buddy. I'm gonna pull over. I gotta see if, uh... Yeah, I gotta turn around. Funny thing. I, I saw a place where you could put a boat in and, uh, that's what I thought it was. Uh, I was like, hey, I don't know why somebody would put a boat in this thin of water, and that's actually our turn. <laughs> we gotta go that way. Oh man, this is crazy. All right, uh, there's John. I, I caught him before. Yeah, we've. Yep, this is our road across crossing. All right, this is gonna be a spooky life. This is our turn. How do you even get down there? Oh well, this is freaking. Scary. Oh. I am going the wrong way. Golly, come on. Come on. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. This is deep, it's deep, it's deep. Go, 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 go. God. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Oh. I was doing that. Hold on. Let me. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. That was crazy. Not on purpose. I'm coming. Just come on in and come straight, straight to me. Don't. Uh... Yeah. Cam. Camera's rolling. You just gotta give it speed. Stay in one gear, gear one, and then come to me. Don't go out. Uh, you can stand. I didn't, and I, I wish I did. All right, hard left. Come to me. Come straight right here. Straight in here. Stay. You're good. You're good. Stay. Don't let. The, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Just come straight to me. Straight to me. Right here. Don't go that way. Go straight here. That's it. That's it. That's it. You got it. Don't worry about getting me wet. Just go. Golly, this was the hard part right here. This was the hardest part. <laughs> Was that crazy? Off road prohibit violation will be okay. Oh, how's your heart? Yeah, it's raised a little bit. Did it? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a... Uh... Ooh, we got... Ooh, 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 stand up for this. You gotta have a, a great trail. It's gotta give you some scariness. It's gotta, it's gotta spook you a little bit. All right, this is spooky. Uh-uh. I, I went in this... Well, it, somebody dying, I guess, because this is... Oh, come on, come on, come on. This is spooky, bud. Oh, my God. That was hard so far. Looks like another, another cross and, oh man, come on, another river crossing, alright, I'm gonna take it to the left right here, nope, 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 it's not letting me, okay, okay, uh, if you can go left, yeah, it's going, it's deep, if you could hug this corner, there's not a, there's not a wrong answer though, just there's a huge rock over here, so be careful. Go, 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 perfect. Dude, that was the perfect line. That's what I wanted. Yeah, that was perfect. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, I went sideways, but I thought I'd do it. I just hit a loose rock. So when John goes down, he don't say, he's like, Barry, I went down. Me, yeah, I'm, I'm all, I'm all crazy. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, no. Oh, that was, oh, crazy. 
Everything is wet, man. Ugh, uh, ninja. Uh, here we go. Oh my God, man, that was freaking crazy. We're both soaked. It's uh, it says 48 degrees, but I, I'm telling you, I'm I feel like 100 degrees right now. I'm I'm freaking sweating. But uh, looks like we got some nice road for now. So how beautiful the um, Appalachian Mountains are. The Smokies. We're following like beautiful rivers and then we'll get on top of these mountains to see all these uh crazy views this is insane all right it's gotten loose oh no 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 oh no 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 I'm just trying to turn it off. Why did he turn it off? There's no key. Um. Yep. There it is. <sighs> Maybe keep standing. My watch is asking me, am I okay? I'm okay. I fell, but I'm okay. I dropped my, uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, okay, I'm okay. Whew. All right. Whew. Okay, I'm okay. Let's get this bike put up. Um, what to grab? Okay. This thing's like 100 million pounds. Can you drop the uh, kickstand for me? And we'll just put it right on that. Whew. Everything's okay. Little scratches, no big deal. This right here, I have to get that back in later. A couple of scratches, everything's all right. All right, let's get back on the road. All right, I'm okay. A little shook up. I don't, you never want to drop your bike, you know. I didn't have these on. This was a little bit scratched up right there on my palm. But get you some Kevlar gloves. We'll keep you, keep you safe. But it is my nemesis. Curves and uh, and heavy rocks, I drop them every time. But, uh, all right, let's get this. I'm sure this ain't the last time we're dropping the bike. <laughs> all right, let's, let's ride. All right. We just, right where I fell, that, make that turn, and there's asphalt. It's crazy. So we're back on asphalt for just a little bit. We're just riding these back country roads, and I'll just jump right back on the dirt roads again. It's, it's crazy. Man. Absolutely beautiful. Now look at this. It just goes from paved to this crazy stuff. Following this map, it's going to come to straight to dirt roads again. We're pulling over to find a uh, maybe a, a place to eat lunch. Nice. This is a uh, part of the Appalachian Trail, right, John? Yeah, we're going to look and see if we can find a place for lunch. All right. John has this downloaded on Google Maps. He said that this trail takes us right through Hiawathi. So this is going to be, uh, there'll be food there. So it's 12 o'clock right now. So let's, uh, let's eat. I'm hungry. Found us a spot and he put us in the dirt. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's, that's our life right there. All right. Let's eat. We got a little bit of signal. This looks crazy. Look at this. <laughs> so good. I am starving. I didn't have much for breakfast. So let's eat. These fries are good. Let's tear this. Oh, look at that. That's crazy. What's this place called? The Last Dive? Yeah. That's funny. They always have the best food. Oh, my God. 
I'm gonna eat this and I will be right back. Oh my God, my belly is crazy full. At least I don't have to like ride bikes. My knee is hurting when I fail, freaking suck. That's the only thing that hurts on me. But yeah, we gotta get on the bikes. We got rain coming tomorrow, it's pretty bad. We're trying to find like a hotel or something the next day. But anyway, all right, let's get on the bike, get on the trail. You lead the way, I don't, I don't hide it on me. some waters my other two are gone get these packed up we'll get back on the get on some dirt but we'll be right back the battery damn it all righty i had to charge my mic oh i got it you got abs you gotta turn this turn my abs off there we go now we are right gotta get used to riding on the dirt again been on pavement for a minute but well, we're back on the dirt we'll be on this for a while I don't think we hit our 140 miles today. We've got really heavy rain tomorrow, so I'm not sure what this is all gonna look like. But we're having fun. That's really all that matters. There's a car, big guy. There's a car. There's a car. Hopefully you hear me. John, just ride it. Go ahead. Yeah, that last part is a little spooky. <laughs> Huge waterfall. Just got back on tarmac. Even the tarmac is has its own little adventures and it's a beautiful place. And these cabins are insane. They're so cool. Oh man, they got a Jeep truck. It's beautiful. Look at this. This is crazy. Wow. Back on some beautiful roads.
just came right off the off the dirt. That was a little bit technical because it was uphill and uh, very rocky. But uh, I mean, it pops right off onto this road, which is crazy. I think we were on that for maybe just a few miles, five miles or so. But um, man, look at this. I know it's going to show us some pretty views. There's no doubt. on dirt road closed seven miles no through traffic until march but it's march this is tough just really rocky and you don't want to fall all right back into crazyville and downhill still on the trail we just passed a car so i was like man well they can do it it's a little different on a motorcycle though loose rocks get most of me and john's falls have always it's always been like at a standstill lol or um a, a really slow uh really slow um rpms it just get the rocks get loose we're on a you know enduro that you can ride on the street and we're right now feels like single track you know what <laughs> I've been riding motorcycles since I was 15. I took some time off, but it was just to ride all the way to Daytona or Myrtle Beach or Surges uh, to Ohio to the SEMA show and stay in a hotel. But uh, this is another another way of riding it's, I've never experienced before. It's insane. This is such a neat thing. And to do it with a buddy, that's even cooler. And you really need to, because these bikes oh, are heavy. Um, it just makes it easy if you got somebody to help you pick the bike up. Because this isn't the first time I've dropped the bike. I've dropped it several times. And I've had uh, Brock from uh, Moto Missions and uh, John with me with uh, Moto Adventure. Uh, it's really neat to ride with, with friends that have the same, you know, passions, I guess. Well, let's just keep riding see where this thing takes us. Back in some hard stuff now. <sighs> I'm gonna pull over and grab something to drink like you did. I am Thursday. Boom. Yeah. That's awesome. This is called um, fruit leather uh, by Zest. It's really good. All like natural type stuff. I'll put all our snacks that we ate in the description. This stuff is all sent to me. That's second day of partaking in these darn things. They are fantastic. Okay. I do recommend them. Look at them. They're just like this. Like a fruit roll up, but it's all natural. Hope. Well, Here's the downside. When it's cold, it doesn't. You can't eat this. It's frozen. It's like eating leather. Real leather. So I don't know what it does in the heat, but it is delicious. It's just last night I tried to eat one. I couldn't, but it was like low 40s, almost I guess 39. So downside about that. Very delicious though. And uh, get back on the trail. John said we had a, we're doing 140 miles. And it's five miles. And it is five o'clock. Got one more hour of riding before we need to start looking for camp. So, all right. Snack time is over. Let's ride for another hour. Let's go.
beautiful place. You know when it's tough when John starts to stand up. It's, it's happening. And he's got his blinker on. You know when it's good, when it's tough. That's a nice little jump right there. It's a nice little campsite. Yeah, I was like, it, it's going to be a river crossing or something. How does this make any sense? Yeah, I think you make a right here. Is there a car coming? Yeah. Ooh. Look at this. Um, a little bit loose. Best parts of getting to camp is getting these boots off, dude. It is crazy. Oh, uh, they're they're nice. They keep your ankles protected, but you got to get these off when you get to camp. Get you some flip flops or something to get you out of these camp these shoes. I got these. You just put them underneath your um your tent or just so you can keep them safe. But yeah, I get these. Also the first thing I like doing is getting these off cuz they're hot. And I think I've got creek water of like six different creeks in in my boots. So, I think I'm going to start a sock company called Six Creeks. <laughs> six Creeks. That's awesome. Yeah. If you know, you know. You know what I mean? That's what I would say. You know, you know. All right. Let these air out. Ah. And let's go find us a place to put our hammock. That's my chair. Snacks. There we go. Got the straps, the hammock. Right next to a creek. The sun's already gone down. That's Make sure you're not putting it over a, a yellow jacket. I've done that before, and that sucked. I got bit. Super sucked. I'm gonna talk to Dutch about getting me some better straps. I think I lost mine or something. Now makeshift and stuff up. It's not his fault. It's 100% my fault. He has, um, he makes Dutch bling. It's a lot of like widgets that um, tighten hammocks up easy, all kinds of neat little things he does. Check out DutchWear.com. He's got all kinds of stuff. It gets a little too scienty. I mean, if you're really into like lightweight, which he has all kinds, I'm just saying, it can get a little sciency. if you know what I'm talking about. Take a look, you'll see. In the hammock community, or the hammock, I mean, he's the OG. All right. This is my entire hammock, quilts, and pillow. All in here. And this is the little black thing over top of it is uh, what they call a um, anaconda. <sighs> what you do, you can leave it like this and deploy it when you want it out. I need these bags because I think it's going down to 35 tonight. So your down quilts need to be uh, like fluffy. And these have been compressed. Two pillows. Oh, nice. Dude, I'm gonna sleep so good at night. 
short story. I have, um, some of y'all already know that I have, uh, I deal with vertigo and that super sucks. And a lot of it, they say it's hydration, hydration. So I've been drinking a lot more water, which is making me pee a lot more. And, uh, I just had to chill. Somebody walked over my grave. Um, but, um, uh, so last night I went to bed and, um, got up to go pee, went back to bed, got up again to go pee. And, um, I uh, came back to bed and I laid down and put the covers over my head and I bre breathed in a uh, down feather into my lungs. And that was that. I think we went to bed around 12 and uh, dude, I thought I was going to die. I could not drink, eat. I, I tried all kinds of stuff. I got up. I didn't want to throw up in front of, you know, by John's tent. <laughs> So I went over by the motorcycles and I thought I was gonna die. It was horrible. It was horrible. I um, and it's in your lungs, so I couldn't stop it. You know, I tried to drink a lot of water. Uh, I ate some food to try to like these snacks. Couldn't get it because it's in your lungs. Um, I didn't throw up, but um, man, that was that was so freaking tough. I wound up getting through it though. I just gotta be careful. I don't know if it's this this thing or my puffy or whatever. I know my puffy has a hole, uh, but yeah, I don't want to breathe in. No more down anymore. But uh, all right, let's uh, let's get the chair set up. Let's um, go around and look for firewood, and uh, let's have a cool night. Thanks for watching camping motorcycle camping vlog volume one, uh, volume one part one. Uh, yeah, if you want one of these, I'll put it in the description below. These these are so cool. I grabbed the wrong chair. I'm not a super huge fan of this chair. You've got to build it. That sucks. You open this up, it's from Tom Shoe. Sh yeah, Tom Shoe. Every time I put it together, though, I'm always thinking about um, the Home Depot song. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, dun, whatever, however it goes. I always feel like I'm building a house here. Especially, and Tom Shoe makes some good stuff. I have a lot of their stuff. I just don't like this. Tomorrow, in the afternoon, it's calling for rain. So I'm not 100 on here. Yeah. Always do it wrong. You gotta put this on. Now John has actually the Tom Shoe um, table. I, I do like having a chair though for having at camp. I have a chair fetish. I got so many different chairs. Not on purpose. Companies sent them to me, but uh, I love them. Yeah. There it is. All right, I'm gonna sit. Got a little bit of wood in here, and the ground is is soft or hard, not hot, uh, yeah. So right where we ate um, to where we stopped, this is on River, um, 129 miles, 139, 130 miles yeah. today. Uh, mine says 84. But that's I didn't start recording until we started eat until we ate think about the start of our day um which was we left camp and just climbed four miles straight up <laughs> all right and then found the wheel rut from hell and then decided to go fishing nine times the, the end of the day went great yeah yeah so our goal tomorrow because the rain's coming in um around four or five or six just depends on really where you're at so we're going to try to get up early and um and hit the trail and get to what's it called delton Dalton, uh, which is the next biggest city. Um, if we do make it to Dalton, Georgia, there is a to die for Mexican restaurant. Oh yeah, that's where we're happening. So let's see if I can turn this around. I don't have any signal, but they have a loop here that we're not gonna be able, we don't even know if it's open. There's some people saying it might be open, it might be closed. Uh, we just don't have time. So we'll ride this and to Dalton is like right there. So from here to there. Looks like almost the same distance. I, it might be what about maybe 70 miles tomorrow, 80 miles, just by looking at the, di that's 90 miles from there to there. Yeah, I think you're about right. It might be 90 miles tomorrow. So we're gonna try to get, try to get up early. We stayed up really late last night and uh, I got up late because I, I almost died in the middle of the night. I told you about that. Um, but yeah. So having a no inhaling down night tonight. No inhaling down night tonight. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll get a fire going. And I didn't finish putting up my, because I didn't put the tarp up. Because it, with it having the humidity the way it is, we might get sprinkles on tonight. But 
just trying to get you caught up on my vlog of my motorcycle camping trip. So, all right, we'll be back. There's a log right there. I'm gonna go out here and see if I can find some sticks. I swear, look at this. That is the biggest vine I've ever seen in my life. That is freaking huge. That's insane. Wow. But stuff, it, this is all fallen. I'll just grab this stuff, it's dry. So I'm gonna go around and grab some wood. This is good. I'm gonna have a fire tonight. It's not super important. See all this rock? It goes all the way down. I have a feeling that this might have been something at one time. After I've been to um, Tennessee with Brock doing the, um, the, we did an overnighter up with him. We did two rides. He showed me where they did moonshining and you had to have creek water to make it whatever. So I'm wondering if that was gold or moonshine. <sighs> Who knows? But anyway, I'm gonna show you a neat little trick how to start a fire. Super simple and it's always worked for me. Let me show you. All right. I gotta get some small stuff so we can light it up. All right, this is perfect. Super light. Look how simple that is. All right, I need to clean this out a little bit. That should be good. All right. All right, let's cut some more stuff. My sore knee, sore knee. Just trying to, fire needs chaos. All right, now here's the easy part. Most of y'all have one of these to start a fire, to start uh, the boil water. Stick it right underneath there, just like that. Keep your eye on it. You don't want to heat this up. And uh, you'll have a fire. Take a look. Just keep, make sure this doesn't get hot. Simple, right? What you gonna have? I gotta kinda dig in with a junkless bar. I gotta have another one of those fruit roll-ups. They are killer. You have them? Yeah. Yep. And then, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna, I gotta make this thing smaller so I travel okay. better. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, another green belly, which was delicious, or fire up some, uh, some dehydrated food. About halfway into, or a third of the way into the day, I didn't even think we are gonna be close to our goal. I mean, we all but hit it. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. What a day. That's a kick and fire, man. Yeah. Yeah. We built some ashes really quick. Still got some sticks over there. And then we got that big boy I never brought over. Phone is dead. I didn't bring the my, or my watch is dead. I didn't bring the charger for my watch. It was on my mind. Oh my mind. Oh my mind. I got that ludicrous song, Georgia. Always oh, on my you, mind. Um, a pretty crazy um, charger like specialized or can you put it on the back of like a phone? I wonder if we could put it, I've tried to put it on the back of mine, but it's a negative and a positive. It bounces back and forth. It won't connect. But it is a, um, what's the FN charger? Yeah. What, FN charger? That's right. FN chargers at home. FN chargers at home. And we called it probably 30 or 40 minutes early because of this. Right. Hard to pass up on this. Yeah. And we still made a mileage, man. I'm tickled, dude. What a day. Yeah, we were really debating on is this. I mean, we got water. And the next thing, it looks like we're going up. So it was not going to be a water, you know, hearing the sound of the water and stuff like that sounds awesome. Yeah, I mean, look at that ridge line, it's pretty steep up there. We were going to lead in the water for sure. Yeah. So uh, what do you think about uh, Charlie's Creek? The oh, yeah. The, there. the boat launch, as you say. Yeah, I thought that was a boat launch. It was crazy. Yeah, the um, uh, all of them were super scary. Yeah. You know, we've got money in these. We're not rich, you know, so hurt hurting these and I've watched uh, several channels where they drowned their bikes and uh, we're in the middle of nowhere um, that's scary you know that uh, I, I had a thought 
game plan in my head of, you know, you saving me, me saving you, you know, that type of thing. But It's nice to have a, a riding partner through those. Like Charlie's Creek, um, it, was, it was interesting. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I'll throw the name up, but that's the famous one. It's just so long. It's going right. I, I, I saw where you went deep, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to cut it early. And then whiskey throttled, and I had to put my foot down. And boy, like, that water was cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you look at our boots, you think they're waterproof, but they're not They're not designed. They're not muck boots. They yeah. um, protect your ankles. I think 80% of uh, accidents on motorcycles are ankles and legs. I didn't know that because I've been a rider my whole life, and um, I did not know that ankles and legs are the biggest. You just assume it's your head. Yeah. And hands are number two. Which Especially is, at these medium speeds when you're adventuring, you know, maybe 25 to 50. Yeah. Um, going down on the legs and hands. Yep. Uh, my knee is sore. And I landed on my hands. And that was my fault, not using the, uh, having those gloves. But it was just hot, so I, I just thought not to use them. And, and when you land on gravel, that's, uh, or anything really. I mean, it ain't comfortable. Being, I mean, kind of in our backyard, um, you know, starting in Georgia there. Three hours. I didn't expect this trail to be, I mean, I expect it to be nice, but this has been something special. This has been gorgeous. Yeah. If they could connect the, the, Georgia Traverse and the uh, Smoky 500, or the, even the Smoky 1000. This would be insane. 2,000 mile, what, 20 or 1,500 mile trip, which there's so many different. We, we met another rider, and he's like, have y'all did the Georgia BDR? Have you done this or that? Or, I'm like, which I imagine it ties into yeah. a couple of these. It seems like, like all that, of them do. Uh, Charlie's Creek or whatever that larger one is, is, is in the Smoky 500 is as well. It? So they, they share a few roads here and there definitely quite a bit different roads here. Man, just what a ride. Yeah. Feed my face. Make up for some of those uh, lost calories and those technical parts. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the fire. This yeah, thing's kicking. What's for dinner? In the old packet gourmet. Uh, all American Burger Works. This right here, outstanding. I, if you have, he don't have any, but if you have the wraps, like a uh, tortilla wrap, this is crazy good, yeah. insane. It is best in the wrap, but they give you like mustard and mayo and cheese and crunchies. Oh man, crazy it's so good. good. It's kind of expensive. What's the price on it? Uh, this one is like $11, I think. Yeah, $11. Peek sent me some refuels. Uh, I'm going to try, I want to do granola, strawberry granola, and it has powdered milk in it. These are really good. I like granola. I'm just trying to figure out, because you can do hot or cold, cold with this. Open pouch, tear mark, remove oxygen, stir, add one cup of cold water, or eight ounces of cold water, stir, and then wait for five minutes. It's not steak, but let's, let's do this. Company sent me, these are so cool. They're called outlery. It's a cutlery, um, but you build it. It's a fork, a knife, a spoon, and you can make it. You, there's chopsticks in here, which is crazy. Yeah, these are outlery. Super cool. When you eat out of these bags, you have to have a, a little bit of a long spoon. That'll work. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? It smells good too. Put cold water in there. Eight ounces. It looks great, man. So they say sit there and stir and then let it sit for five minutes. Just try to get these corners. It's got like milk, powdered milk in it. And then let it hydrate. Oh, now can you see that? All right, we'll let it sit for five minutes. Eat next to this nice warm fire. All right, we'll be back. In the game now, 10 minutes. 10 more minutes. Looks like pink milk. Can you see that? Let's see how it tastes. You got your spoon? Want to try it? I'd get a bunch of those. It's not bad, is it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Way to go peak. That is on point, man. Yeah. So granola for strawberries is a home run. Wow, that's that's outstanding. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, Peak refuel. I have a bunch of different ones. But I'll put it in the description below if you want one. And all our snacks. This is good. This is cold too. 
Comes off great, cold. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm gonna eat this and hang out with my buddy. Watch, uh, try not to burn my legs off, man. That's one. It's kicking up. I, I gave it another foot. Did you? Oh, you backed up? Yep. I mean, it's so hot, it's not even putting out smoke. It's a hot bite. But, all right. We'll see you after we're done eating. It's already super late, the moon's out. And I think I'm gonna end the video here as we're getting about ready to wrap it up. But if you like videos like this, hit the uh, notification bell and hit the thumbs up. This is the motorcycle camping vlog, part one. And uh, next week will be uh, part two. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.